Tire pressure monitoring systems have been around for well over a decade at this point. But in order to reset the system, there might be different functions depending on a vehicle. Now this Ford behind me has two different ways to do this. You can either do it with a, a bunch of different turning the ignition on and off, et cetera, and then using a trigger tool such as the TPMS5 here, or we can use the scan tool to put it in a learn mode and then just use the TPMS5 to trigger the tires. So let's walk through both ways. Now one of the easiest ways to find this function is to go in the service resets and relearns menu. If you have a tool that has this menu, it's going to sort out any resets or relearns on the tool by job. So in this case, we have replaced tire pressure sensor down here at the bottom. So if I click on that, it's going to give me some information here, maybe if I have any TSBs or bulletins available. And then if I hit functional resets and calibrations, it's going to open up and give me any resets related to tire pressure monitoring system. Now we see up here we have two, one's in the body control module, one's in the tire pressure monitor. So I'm gonna go into TPMS training mode with scanner. Go in there, make sure the ignition is on. Procedure will enable TPMS sensor location training mode. We'll hit continue. There we go, the beep means now it's in relearn mode and it's going to tell you exactly how to do it. So after the horn sounds, use the TPMS sensor activation tool, our TPMS 5, to activate the left front sensor, repeat for right front, right rear, left rear. In that order, you need to go in that order Otherwise, the vehicle's not going to know what tire's on what corner of the vehicle. All right, so that's all four sensors. And if you are using a tool similar to a TPMS-5, you can actually read the pressures, the temperatures, the frequency, and the battery level as well. We hope you found this clip helpful. Find hundreds of other quick tips and useful training videos right here on the Snap-on Diagnostics YouTube channel.